once upon a time, a long time ago, there lived two brothers. And they lived in a small village on the top of a mountain just outside Addis Ababa. And one morning, the younger of the two brothers decided he would visit the market to buy the daily groceries. Now, it was a busy trading day, and there were lots of people in the market, and there was a lot of pushing and shoving. And eventually, the young brother bumped into a tall man. He took a step back and saw that the tall man was Death himself, the Grim Reaper. And the Grim Reaper was giving him an evil and menacing glare. Well, the young brother was terrified, and he turned and ran. He ran back through the market, back up the side of the mountain, and through his front door. He told his older brother what had happened. He said, brother, I was in the market this morning, and I bumped into Death, and he gave me an evil and menacing glare. Well, the older brother stayed calm. He went to the safe, he unlocked the safe, and he produced a pile of money. It was inheritance that he and his brother had had from their father. He said, brother, go back to the market, find the horse trader, and buy his fastest horse, and then ride that horse as far and as fast as you can until you are safe. The younger brother felt reassured. He went back to the market, he found the horse trader, and he bought a beautiful white stallion. And he rode. He rode at fairy tale speeds. First tens of miles and soon hundreds of miles. Until late at night, he finally arrived in Nairobi. A foreign city in a foreign country. And Nairobi at night was as busy as the market had been in the morning. And he pushed his way again through the crowds until he found a small hotel and he paid the innkeeper with the last of his money. He went up the stairs and into his hotel room. He locked the door, he pushed a chair under the handle, sat back on his bed and relaxed, safe at last. Meanwhile, back in Addis Ababa, the older brother decided that he would visit the market and he too met death. But rather than turning and running away, he challenged Death and he said to him, Tell me, why did you frighten my brother this morning by giving him an evil and menacing glare? And Death said, that wasn't an evil and menacing glare. That was simply a look of surprise. And the older brother said, how do you mean, surprise? And Death said, well, I was surprised to see a man in Addis Ababa this morning with whom I have an appointment in Nairobi tonight. Okay, I told this story mostly because I think it's a great tale, but also I think it is worth being reminded that things are constantly changing and way too much time and way too much effort is spent defending the indefensible, denying the undeniable, holding on to the old or avoiding the inevitable. At some point, Manchester United had to stop playing Bobby Charlton and it is inevitable that consumers expect their information and news to be easily available on the internet and they expect it to be free. And while we're talking about the internet, stop asking yourself how big is online shopping going to be? It is going to be huge. Eventually, almost everything will be bought on the online. The growth has hardly started. We will see the death of the high street. And anyone who doesn't believe me is riding very fast on a horse to Nairobi.